Oh, today we're in a great spot. If you can't tell, we are in the great state of Florida. We've come down to Tallahassee, Florida. Today we're gonna check out the Tallahassee Automobile Museum. It's gonna be a good one. As soon as you come through their gate, it's a replica Batmobile sitting here. It's not real. And a giant cow. I mean, it's already getting started off right. So the Tallahassee Automobile Museum has been on my radar for quite some time. I've passed by it quite a few times. Going to Disney, I think, was probably the first time I saw it. And they always advertise that they have Batmobiles here. But it's not just automobiles. This museum has a lot of cool stuff inside of it and that's the reason why we left home yesterday just so we could come down here for this museum i have actually never been inside of the museum i've been out here on the grounds before but i've never been inside that's gonna change today this is the museum over here in front of us you see here on the left there's a giant uncle sam statue then over here on the right check that out this is a giant TIE fighter. It's obvious this is not a movie quality TIE fighter. Somebody just built this, but it is very interesting and very cool looking to have out on your front yard. They even made a makeshift gun off the front of it there. Very, very cool. This fence is a little bit tore down. Let's see if we can see what it looks like on the inside. Well, uh, uh, it's pretty dark. Looks like maybe they were gonna use it for uh, have a screen on the inside of it or something and I don't know. It's still very cool nonetheless. Good old Uncle Sam here just hanging out. It kind of resembles Abraham Lincoln in the face. This is right out in front of the museum. Looks like their fountain's not working today. Look at this. Bad habit. This thing is awesome. This thing sits so low to the ground, you wouldn't be able to even go over a speed bump. You can see as I'm standing right up next to it, it barely comes up above my stomach. This one over here, this is very interesting looking. Elvis Presley here playing his guitar. This is the Elvis Mobile. There's a, a bunch of these naked lady emblems all over it on the speakers on the wheels it's like a uh, audio sound mixing board <laughs> there for the center console that's kind of crazy and uh like a hookah smoking pipe right here in the center it's obviously a car that elvis would not have owned it's a fan-made elvis mobile upon entering the museum it's a lot of stuff in here like this 1953 Cadillac Eldorado with the Marilyn Monroe statue and everything. Here's a giant horse made completely out of car parts. Here's a 53 Cadillac here. A 1927 Charmeter clock face gas pump. You sure don't see those anymore. Over here in this corner, this is absolutely amazing this is actually pr probably one of the most iconic pieces of history that i've actually ever seen this was the hearse for abraham lincoln after president lincoln was shot and pronounced dead he was not to be buried in washington dc he was going home to springfield illinois where he resides today well, they took him on a semi cross country tour through towns and cities so everybody could pay their last respects. The end of the road in Springfield, Abraham Lincoln was laying inside of this car. President Lincoln's head would have been right here where this American flag is located in his body laying in that direction and he would have rolled up to his tomb in this exact car.
Abraham Lincoln was right here. Right here in front of it. They have this artist's depiction. And you can see this car that we're looking at. It's right here in the picture. This is not a mock-up of it. This is the actual car he was in. Here in front of it, they also have a copy of the uh, Wanted poster. And they also have a model of the gun. This is a replica of the gun that was used to assassinate President Lincoln. That's it right there. John Wilkes Booth used a gun exactly like that. This is the route they would have taken. He was, he was shot and killed here in Washington. And then he was carried up through Baltimore and Harrisburg over to Philadelphia, up to New York, all the way up to Albany. Then they cut across to Buffalo, into Ohio, Indiana, up to Chicago, Illinois, and then down to Springfield, Illinois. Not regarding Lincoln, but something really cool. Right beside it is a vault from Fort Knox. <laughs> That's crazy. This is a 1931 Ford Model A, dubbed the Woody. It is a fully working car, but the entire, everything that can be made out of wood is made out of wood. Obviously the engine's metal, but the entire outer shell and inside pieces are all made out of wood. I bet this car is heavy. I can only imagine how much it weighs according to its placard here. 2,500 pounds, 28 Model A, 31 Model A, a 31 Model A Roadster, a 30 Model A Sport Coupe. Something that you just don't see around too often anymore. Back in the 30s when these cars were popular, when you, bought, when you purchase the car now in the rear of your car, you get a spare tire and you get a jack. Well, they had an entire kit that would come with your car. And here is that kit right here with a jack. That's a jack, the stand for it. And over, over here is like a, uh, you know, a basketball or a bicycle tire pump. But because of the way the tires were back then, it worked perfectly fine. Your lug wrench, it even come with a few tools like a screwdriver and wrenches. This is a 32 model 18 Phaeton. It's one of the oldest surviving fully manufactured American vehicles this was a car that worked this is an 1894 Duryea, not restored but still survived you see down here it was chain driven almost like a motorcycle two pistons right here in the back of the motor it had this rod here you left or right to steer it it wasn't like a steering wheel and then you get into the restored versions Over here in this corner over there, that's a 57 Divco. It's a delivery vehicle for like your milk delivery or ice cream delivery. Ooh, look there on the top of that ramp, 1911 Model T. Dun, 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 dun. An 83 DeLorean. Obviously, this one isn't the time machine version, but still really cool. When you see these, you can't help but to think of Back to the Future. Check it out. The, the rear passengers had their own windshield. Wow, look at that. Always wanted one of these when I was a kid. The Dodge Viper. 1979 Pontiac Trans Am. The Burt Reynolds Special. Here's a 2010 Camaro painted to look like it. And how about that 1934 Ford school bus there in the corner? They have a Back to the Future sign over there without actually having that car. In this case, this is an 1800s vampire slaying kit. You don't get to see these very often. Silver projectiles, the cross, all the way to the garlic. As I said that there's a whole treasure trove of stuff in here. It's not just cars. They have the Blues Brothers. 
they have a section with nothing but amazing expensive pianos that's right get in the chopper they have a signed Jimmy Buffett guitar on display this is a pretty nice collection of firearms here including the Tommy gun John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd behind me singing they even have a collection of creepy ceramic dolls Muhammad Ali all the way down to the complete collection of the Spice Girls it's all of them Michael Jackson oh here's the Wizard of Oz we're gonna abandon this first floor now and head up to the second floor and see what all the other kind of goodness they have in here. Does anybody recognize that signature? <laughs> the Batman Forever Corn Pops boxes. They have collected just about anything and everything you could think of. They have an entire collection of cash registers and fans desktop fans this one is really cool this is the amphibicar the first car ever made that could drive on land and in the water and you can see if you look underneath it right here in there's a mirror you can see the propellers that were that set under the car so it could go once you engage them in the water here's a coin riding machine would have sit outside a grocery store an allied world war one plane that's cool it's like an entire racetrack of completely restored pedal cars uh that, that i mean that's just amazing if you watch stuff like american pickers or american restoration you see that people pay many many thousands of dollars to have these same exact cars that they have here restored because they're worth so much money now and this museum has a ton of them that one right there looks really cool the african queen is its name this is a boiler to uh so that it could propel through the water they have just about everything in here and for some reason that they they even have a 95 Cadillac DeVille next to a 65 Ford Galaxy and a 69 Camaro I don't know why that makes sense check out this guy here on the end it's a car but it's made to look like a train a 1929 Graham Page it belongs to Paramount Pictures there were only 15 of these cars made. There's only five left in existence today, and they have one. We've come to the section now, which is what brought me here. I, I heard that they had these items, and I had to come see them for myself. They have an entire section devoted to Batman. Here we have the Keaton Mobile. In all, they built five Keaton Mobiles. They used three and the 1989 Batman movie, and they built two more for the 1992 Batman Returns. This is Batman Returns movie car number two. This is an actual Batmobile used in the movie with the Bat logo on the steering wheel and everything. Man, so cool. Is one of Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman costumes. She wore that actually in the movie. I almost missed this, but right over here behind it this is the bat cycle from the original 1960s tv show with uh, adam west and burt ward right here next to the keaton mobile this is the batmobile from batman forever the val kilmer version this is the batman forever vehicle number two look at that fin it comes way back here in that exhaust this was uh, the second of two cars built for the movie. They didn't use this much in the movie, though, because they blew it up pretty early in the movie. But what I do notice, though, which is uh, kind of crazy, is all this that's inside of here, it's not real. It's just a facade in these cracks. None of that is real. 
you can kind of see the bat radar and all that inside of there. And then obviously right here behind it, the 1966 Adam West, the George Barris version. So cool. It even has the bat phone. They have a set of Adam West and Burt Ward's costumes that were actually screen used in the movie. Look how much this one is faded now from all the years. Over here next to it, this is the Penguin, the Duckmobile from Batman Returns. They only built one of these vehicles for use in Batman Returns. This one's it, right here. How crazy is that, that this auto car museum in Tallahassee has this. Over here, they have some pieces from the Adam West Burt Ward set that are authentic. These were actually screen used. And we can't get over there. They do not allow crossing this barrier, but they have a board set up with pictures to show you what part of the set these items come from. And then over here in the back, it's kind of hard to see, but it's the uh, Bat Ski Boat from Batman Returns. They made two of these. They made one which was a lot larger, a full-size version, and then they made the smaller version for some of the shots. This, the, the ski boat that you see there was actually screen used. And then down here in the center they have, right here is a few uh, Keaton Mobile pedal cars. Man, this is amazing that they have this stuff and all of this being screen used, all of it. Over here next to Penguin, they have a few coin-operated Batmobiles that would sit outside grocery stores. As we unfortunately are heading away from the Batman section of this museum, that is all to the Tallahassee Automobile Museum. We're going to head out. Getting to see the Batman exhibit there was really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. I want to thank you all for watching we're headed back home we came all the way down here just to see this museum and now we're going back monster trucks are coming to town tomorrow in montgomery and i have to work it so we're heading back to montgomery thank you all i'll see you again tomorrow have a great day